In this presentation, we will study about the Max tree, which is your multiplexer tree. So, what actually we do in the Max tree? We obtain the higher order marks using the lower order marks. Okay, and once you do that, once you have your higher order marks using the lower order marks, it will look something like a tree. I have made a tree here to explain you what actually happens. So you can see that uh, there is a sub branch in this tree, a main branch, and then the stem. Okay, and uh, if you see it closely, you will find that this one this one act as a two cross one marks why because there are two inputs here and one output similarly this one also act as a two cross one marks and this one and this one okay again the output of this two two cross one marks goes into this purple two cross one marks and act as the input the output of this two marks act as the input of this purple marks and uh, same in this case and the output of this two purple two cross one marks act as the input of this yellow two cross one marks and then the output so for a moment if i just talk about the inputs and then the output i will find that there are one two three four five six seven eight eight inputs here and one output so i can say that it is eight cross one marks by using two cross one marks only because i have just used two cross one marks and i got my eight cross one marks but this is not the complete way to do it because i have not mentioned anything about the select line that where you are going to add your select line so let's do one example in which i will try to implement four cross one marks using two cross one marks so let's do it the first thing that you have to see is the required marks so if I see in this question the required marks is your 4 cross 1 now what is the value of n or the number of input data lines in this required marks n is equal to 4 the next step is to divide this 4 by 2 and write the result so 4 divided by 2 gives us 2 and again take this 2 and divide it by 2 so we are having 1 here and once you are having one you just stop okay so the result is two and one now add them adding them will give us three now this is very important thing in the max tree that three two cross one three two cross one max is required to implement one four cross one max so by dividing it by two and then adding the results gives us the number of marks required to implement the higher order marks and there is one more important thing this result gives us is that the sequence first we are going to use two two cross one marks and then we are going to use one two cross one marks so let's see how to do it so first I have to make two two cross one marks so let's make it this is our two two cross one marks and uh, then after we require one two cross one marks so this is our one two cross one marks let's name them this is two cross one two cross one two cross one and as you know that there are two input to the two cross one marks and a single output this output of this first two cross one marks and this output of the second two cross one marks will act as the input to this last two cross one marks and then the output of now if I just see the inputs on this side and the output on this side then I'm having let's say I0 I1 I2 I3 and this is your output Y so it is acting as a four cross one marks but the important thing is about the select line it is having one select line you already know these things so what about the select line I have made the two table for the four cross one marks and uh, it is having two select lines s0 and s1 so in this where I am going to put s0 and where I am going to put s1 this is the question I can put S1 here, S0 here or I can also put S0 here, S1 here 
so how we are going to determine this thing okay so we are going to determine this thing by this table for example if I want y to be equal to i0 so what I have to do at this point I am having what 0 so that this i0 is selected so this is your i0 and remember whatever the select line you select here you have to select at this point also so if it is 0 this is 0 2 so we are having i2 as the output of this second max so these two things are selected now out of i0 and i2 what we require we require i0 so at this point also we are going to have 0 so this thing will be cancelled out and y is equal to i0 so this is the first case now let's see the second case when you require i1 to have i1 I should have it 1 so that this i1 is selected and at this point also I should have 1 so that this i3 is selected so instead of i0 I am having i1 instead of i2 I am having i3 out of i1 and i3 what I require I require i1 so again this thing is 0 so that it is equal to i1 so what you can see you can see that to select i0 and i1 the 0 0 is s1 and in this case this select line is 0 0 so I will say that this select line is your s1 and uh, to select i0 i1 s0 is what 0 1 so it is 0 1 0 1 so this select line is your s0 s0 so this is how we select our select line by using the table of the required marks I hope it is clear to you so in the next presentation we are going to implement some uh, higher order marks like 8 cross 1 and 16 cross 1 by using the lower order marks and we will also handle the special cases in the marks tree so see you in the next presentation